Friedrich Nietzsche, the enigmatic philosopher known for his radical ideas, had a sister who played a pivotal role in shaping his legacy. Elizabeth Forster Nietzsche, a woman with her own controversial beliefs, left a profound impact on her brother's philosophy. But who was Elizabeth, and what influence did she have on Nietzsche's ideas? Elizabeth Forster Nietzsche was not just a mere bystander in her brother's life, she was an active participant and promoter of his works. After Friedrich's mental breakdown, Elizabeth took it upon herself to edit and publish his unpublished writings, ensuring that his ideas reached a wider audience. However, her edits were not without controversy, as she selectively chose and altered passages to align Nietzsche's philosophy with her own far-right and anti-Semitic beliefs. It is crucial to understand that while Nietzsche himself vehemently despised anti-Semitism, Elizabeth distorted his works to fit her own agenda. She co-opted his concepts of the Ubermensch and the will to power to endorse her nationalist and xenophobic views, ultimately tarnishing Nietzsche's reputation and leading to his association with fascist ideologies. One particular instance that sheds light on Elizabeth's influence is the publication of Nietzsche's final work, The Will to Power, which he never intended to publish himself. Elizabeth, driven by her own ambitions, released this posthumous collection of notes, further fueling the misinterpretation of Nietzsche's philosophy. These notes, taken out of context and rearranged by Elizabeth, presented a distorted image of her brother's ideas, perpetuating the misconception that Nietzsche advocated for a totalitarian worldview. It is essential to approach Nietzsche's philosophy with caution, considering the manipulations made by Elizabeth. Many of his profound insights on individualism, the critique of traditional morality, and the revaluation of values have been overshadowed by the misinterpretations propagated by his sister. Nietzsche's complex and nuanced ideas deserve a thorough examination, free from the influence of Elizabeth's distortions. In conclusion, while Friedrich Nietzsche's philosophy continues to captivate and challenge us, we must acknowledge the role Elizabeth Forster Nietzsche played in shaping his legacy. Her misappropriation and manipulation of his works have tainted his reputation and led to misunderstandings of his true intentions. To truly grasp Nietzsche's philosophy, we must separate the authentic ideas from the distortions imposed by his sister. Only then can we appreciate the profound insights Nietzsche offers into the human condition and the quest for individual freedom and self-realization.